Welcome to Link uh, 2022. It is uh, 25 uh, Link and it is uh, very good news. So we had uh, this very interesting session uh, about uh, web aneurysm treatment. I am Professor Laurent Pierrot from Reims, France. And uh, uh, web aneurysm treatment was presented by uh, Professor Christophe Cognard from Toulouse, France. He was presenting a very important study, clever. So, uh, Chris, can you just shortly explain uh, why we have uh, to again uh, evaluate the web, an the web aneurysm treatment? So the, the CLEVER study is a study that has been done because it's a new version of the web, the web 17, that fit in the catheter of 7.17. Uh, it's uh, a new study because for every new uh, web you have a new study and this is absolutely fantastic. So this new study was designed to treat both uh, unruptured aneurysm, 103, and ruptured aneurysm, 60 uh, of them. The recruitment was very fast for both of them. It was faster for unruptured aneurysm, despite the aneurysm were small, between 3 to 6 millimeters in diameter. And their result shows exactly what the results are, exactly what it has been already shown by the other series, that the morbi morbidity is extremely low, with only 1.8% of morbidity, severe morbidity, 0.6% of rupture but with no complication. So it's very interesting to see that in those new web of 17 in small aneurysm, both ruptured and unruptured, the morbidity is extremely low and there was no mortality. Effectively, Clever is showing a very high safety and at the same time what is very interesting is to see that uh, a lot of atypical locations we are treated. For example, PCOM aneurysm, you have a lot of PCOM aneurysm, which is not a typical indication for web. So do you think that we go uh, in a direction of an enlargement of indication due to the web 17 system or due also to the uh, experience of uh, physicians? I absolutely agree. And that so it was a huge proportion of PCOM aneurysm that was treated both unruptured and ruptured. And this is new compared to the series that we we have published before. Uh, so it means that these 17 catheter and 17 web allows to treat aneurysm that are not in, in the direction of the main artery. And even though there is some kind of angulation, you still can use the web uh, because of the flexibility of the catheter. Uh, so, so today uh, the, there is an uh, increase of the uh, indication of using the web, including aneurysm that are not in the direction of the artery with a certain angle of the aneurysm compared to the direction of the artery. This is not a problem anymore with a smaller, small catheter of 17. So, Clever shows a grid safety of the web, confirms the grid safety of the web. What about efficacy? You know, at the beginning, it was, uh, uh, there was some discussion, will Web 17 be as efficacious as other web? But finally... So what I, what I presented today is just a safety at 30 days. So we don't know yet about the long-term efficacy. We'll have the result in the uh, end of the year 2022. Uh, Q4 22, we'll have all the uh, results, including the long-term uh, efficacy at 12 months of the Web 17 in small aneurysm. Until now, I cannot say anything about that. So according to the results of uh, Clever, how do you see now the place of let's say, web aneurysm treatment in the armamentarium of uh, all the tools we have for the treatment of intracranial aneurysm. It's clear that the device has been adopted for both unruptured cases and even ruptured cases. Uh, and then we have more uh, location that we treat. Uh, so it's very likely that we will use the Web17 more and more, even in ruptured aneurysm. I, I want to remind that uh, the mean size of a ruptured aneurysm is 5 mm. So most of the uh, ruptured aneurysm will be treated with a Web17. And I guess that the number of ruptured cases and, and even unruptured small size aneurysm, we, we will use more and more the web because of the downsizing of the catheter, uh, which makes the treatment much more easy to perform and very safe. 
There is an interesting number also in your presentation that was not discussed during the, the workshop, which is the number of cases where you have to change the web, which is roughly 15% cases where you use two, uh, more than one web. How do you explain that and how do you see that? Do you think that there is still a learning curve and that we will progressively have a decrease of the number of web we, we use per procedure? So what I don't know exactly is in which, uh, in, in which centers uh, the operator were using a software to design for the websites. That I, I don't know the numbers. Uh, I was surprised to see that it's a very low number. It's 14% it's where we have to use two web to, to, to get the good one. So finally, a lot of people are saying, ah, oh, with the web, the problem is sizing. It's, it's a problem in only 14% of the case. So it's not really a problem, and it's not clinically a concern. What are the next steps of uh, web evaluation and of, uh, of uh, web on, on, uh, of, uh, regarding the place of uh, web aneurysm treatment in the, in the field? Uh, as you said, we, we, we are treating more and more small aneurysm and ruptured aneurysm. So I'm very eager to see the result of the uh, CLEVER study uh, at the end of the year because we have the complete results, including the uh, long-term efficacy by, by uh, DSN. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Chris. Thank you very thank much, you very much <laughs>